for the winner by unanimous decision, Robert Whitaker. Words can't describe it, you know, weeks of preparation, weeks, months leading up to one, one point in time. Nervousness, a rush, adrenaline, you know, there, there, there's that, uh, that moment where everyone's watching you and you know, that, that builds on you and excitement and then you get the win and it's just euphoria, you know, you're absolutely static. My last fight against Uriah Hall was, um, it was, it was a really tough bout. It was a daunting fight going in. It was, uh, it, you know, it's it's hard to say though because um, a lot of people say, and you know, are you worried about the fight or are you nervous about the fight? And the thing is, like, I, they're just human. Oh, right hand by Whitaker. It was a fight that pushed me into the top ten. It was at the end of the year, and I wanted to finish it. It was on home soil. Uh, you know, that's huge in itself. Had my, all my friends and family there. Had my little boy there. You know, he's only eight months old, and he was there. And uh, yeah, it was a huge fight for me. I grew up in Housing Commission my whole life. I, um, I originated in Riverwood and then moved to Menai at a young age, where I spent a lot of my, all my youth, all my youthful days. Um, I always, always did sports. My parents were both very pro sports. I, I did football, NRL, for you know, as long as I can remember. And uh, along with karate, my parents wanted to give me karate to do a bit of self-defense, me and my brother. So um, yeah, that was, that was the beginning of my martial arts career. I started that about six, seven, and um, I did that up until I got my, my black belt. And then uh, my father offered me the, the opportunity to either change sports or drop it all together. And my brother dropped it, and I, 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 I switched to Hapkido at that time, which was with Henry Perez, my current head coach. I was with my dad at the time actually and I said, you know, that's what I want to do. And um, Henry gave me an opportunity to get in there. There was a, there was a spot open on, on one of the cards, XFC, I think it was a, his debut. And um, yeah, that was, that was the beginning of my MMA career. My dad and mum have always been very supportive of, of, of my martial arts and um, my competitions. And, um, you know, I think, he, I think he held some reserve, you know, like uh, he was a bit worried in some aspects and whatnot. But, he, he kept him well hidden, you know, he's a pretty tough dad. He, well, his boys will be boys and, you know, <laughs> boys like throwing punches. I think Rob is a natural fighter. I don't think anyone's going to teach Rob how to fight. I think, you know, there's those things where if we went back in time a thousand years, um, you know, Rob would be that dude in the village that you go, the Vikings are attacking, go get him, you know? I always believed he would be a champion. From the first time I saw him competing based on the past and how he's developed. I'd say he'd probably be about three fights off it. Rob's good enough to beat anyone, you know? And anyone there can beat him as well. My job is to look at, at the other guy and look at uh, tendencies that we can sort of exploit. But um, for Rob, I think people have to worry about him, you know, more than the other way around maybe, you know? The, the training doesn't change, the, the, regardless of what the fight outcome is or the, the, the fight itself or who the fight is. I train my skill sets that, that, that I have to train for MMA. I do my wrestling, I do my jiu-jitsu, I do my striking, I do my fitness and, um, and, and I just tick the boxes and, and yeah, you know, if I, if I keep doing that, the, the goal isn't to beat just Natal, it's to beat everyone. I don't think win shrinks add, add anything, you know, unless you're, unless you're the sort of dude to, to cower in the face of an opponent that's had six undefeated wins and like... You know, I'm, that's, that's not me, but I don't do any research. I don't watch fights, to be honest. I'm not, not really, it doesn't interest me that much, you know. Um, I may watch one fight just so that I can put a, a picture to my to my opponent when I'm training, when I'm sparring. I, I, I just like having that image, but um, it's not my job, man. I, I rock up and I, I, I do the fighting. My, my coaches do the research. They, they tell me what to look out for. They train me around what to, what to do. My, my job is just to rock up at training, train my ass off, fight my ass off on the day. He's a very smart, composed individual, making him a very unpredictable opponent. He always changes, he incorporates, he learns from all these individual aspects and then he incorporates that into what makes that the better for himself. Making him um, 
uh, high, high, high quality competitor. We had a mentality from the very beginning and we used to say that you're going to be the fastest, you're going to be the strongest, you're going to be the most calm, gain experience along the way, best condition you can get and have that strong mind and heart together and you'll get whatever you want to get. When I get into the, the octagon, it's just me and my opponent, but that is a result of everything leading up to it, and that's what holds it all together. That's the glue, that's the foundation, that's what pushes me to the next level, that's what helps me you know, when I'm feeling down. They're my, my family away from my family. You know what I mean? Born in New Zealand, fighting out of Sydney, Australia, Robert I am immensely proud to be Australian and to be a pioneer in the sport, to, to you know lead lead today's uh, MMA scene against all these other countries. You know it, it really does um really does light me up to to see that Australian flag when I walk out. And, you know to, to to hear them call out that I'm Australian and um you know, I'm very patriotic. I'm, I'm really proud of my country and proud of where I'm from and uh, I love giving it to everyone else. My biggest strength comes from my family, 100%. Um, my wife and my, my kids, um, they're, they're, they're my anchor, you know, they're, they're the centre of my world and I know that at the end of the day, no matter how hard the session, how hard the fight, how beat up and bruised I am, I can go back to my family, they'll give me a hug and, you know, that's just how it is. That's, that's my biggest strength and um, it's very hard to get around that. If I better myself, I will beat everyone and that, that's the game plan. There isn't a person out there that can get in my way.